woman who is upset with her man goes on Twitter and puts out all of his banking information. I'm talking checking number, routing number, a bank card, pen, everything. And Twitter, the scammers go crazy. People yeah, and for the life of me, I don't know what what is up with these youngins, man, just putting all their crimes on social media. Uh, they commit a crime, they put this shit on social media. Uh, validation is the it, new currency. I'm We have a woman that posts all of her ex-boyfriend's banking information on social media. Pray for her. Pray for this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody going to jail. It's Bitch Jump Podcast. Yeah. Let's go. This woman who is upset with her man goes on Twitter and puts out all of his banking information. I'm talking checking number, routing number, a bank card, pen, everything and twitter the scammers go crazy people are literally paying their rent paying their car note Damn. door dashing food <laughs> they're literally clearing out this man's bank account and all this woman has to say for all of her crimes is this you see that i feel complete no sis the only thing you're about to complete is a jail sentence hey, yeah, for the life of me i don't know what what is up with these youngins, man, just putting all their crimes on social media. Uh, they commit a crime, they put this shit on social media. Uh, validation is the it, new currency. I'm, People want to put everything on social media. Again, if you're going on social media to talk about your your, your business or mm -hmm. um, your job or something cool, if you're going on social media to talk about your relationship, your emotions, your family, <laughs> go get you it's called better help it's a therapy site <laughs> don't talk to them online if you want to be online but get you some some clinical help because at the end of the day this is the dumbest thing ever you committed bro, I mean, a bro, crime yeah. number one and and put the shit on so like it was, i remember i remember when social media really kicked off man you would you, you want the social media to, to promote your brand to build your brand you know what I'm saying? If you, you, you're an entrepreneur, you got a nice uh, a t shirt business, a clothing business, so you want to sort of you just try to pump all all of your information to try to get everybody to come to your brand. Now, man, they put their whole life. Oh my gosh. They put their whole life on social media, man. They commit they commit crimes, put this shit on social media. And, you know, I just seen on uh, a video I was watching on YouTube. This uh young guy from the city, I guess he was he was in trouble with the law. So he was like out on bail or something. The cops roll up on him. He's on live. <laughs> he start running. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Is he, I, and I mean, he run he's running, but he like this. As he's running, he's running. He look down at the camera. He run. Look down at the. I'm like, bro, you got the cops on your ass, and you uh, looking hey, down. Oh, like, come on, y'all got to chill. This, this is dumb, and not only from a criminal standpoint, but guess what? She'll never have again. She'll never get another relationship, ever. There's no man that's seen that video that's going to touch Shorty with a 10 foot pole. No, no I'm, there will be some dummies. Yeah, because there are some simps yeah, out yeah, there that, 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 that'll yeah, do it. Right. So, and, and I used to tell my son this, man, when he, he was dating when he was young, man. Choose the girl you mess with wisely. I mean, you can go knock them all. You know what I mean? You, you could do what you do, what you do, but I mean, but choose the ones wisely. If that girl gave you any indication that she's crazy, man, leave her alone. First of all, I get you don't a, want you to have your bank account information. I was anyway, about to say, when I get a wife, love you to death, baby. I die and go to hell for you 50 times over, 50 million times over. But one thing you ain't just going to have willy nilly <laughs> access to <laughs> is my damn money that I worked on. Oh, nah, uh, You're tripping. No. Nah, like, uh, you are tripping. Y'all got to chill. Like and, and as we said prior to the, our other episodes, remember we ran into videos like this when a woman would just totally completely destroy a man's money at bank account right you can have your account and you can have the house account but your account is your account i mean i, I nobody gets into a marriage or relationship thinking that okay this is this is going to end but most of the time it, it does end you got to protect yourself because i'm a i grew up in a household my mom she's always say well shit, i got to go to my mad money i'm like what the, what, mm -hmm. what, 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 what what is mad money when I get mad and I gotta leave, mm. that's my mad money. Got it from my grandma. Mm. But see, us men, we don't think like that. Because, we don't think like that. Because again, I mean, stats show it. Eighty percent of we divorces, need to start having mad money, man. Eighty percent of divorces are filed about 
first five yeah, by, by women. women. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, most men that commit, they in it for the long haul. So, he, I mean, he probably, I, I don't know if this was his girl or his wife, but if it was his wife, he probably never thought that she would do something like that. <laughs> she burned him good. Listen, too. man, so you got to chill. Like, uh, listen, I don't even, I'm, I'm going to be honest. See, my family is very female dominated. So the minute that happened, I'm getting the wolves on her. <laughs> All my goons, please pull up on her. Because you tripping. You, my money? Oh, no. Oh. This your podcast, man. Yeah, definitely to give out some better help gift cards. We need it. <laughs> we need it. Yeah, I mean, this joint podcast. Man.